If you hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Ink Dependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today is the last day of Favorite Things 2021. This category is all the stuff that doesn't fit in any of the other categories of ink, pens, or paper. Uh, just other stuff that I have enjoyed that is uh, writing or hobby tangential, perhaps. And so let's get rolling. First up... Uh, this is the Penwell Craftsman. Uh, I have been a fan of Penwell since they since they started making Penwells. Uh, they make really nice things that go on your desk and make your life a bit easier. This one it makes any pen into a desk pen. So usually this spoke pen lives in there, and I will write some notes, and I'll just pop it back in there, and it sits there and uh, is on my desk. It is uh, fantastically useful. I love the Craftsman because I can move it around. It has this heavy... Uh, brass base on the bottom with these little feet and so sometimes I want it over here sometimes it fits better in my life over there uh, just you know wherever on my desk this one this is always on my desk I love this thing okay Penwell Craftsman but that's not the only place that I put pens uh, I also have this wonderful uh, Groot sort of head Groot figurine thing that my sister got me. Uh, I think this is for my birthday this year, and I really enjoy this. It has a whole fountain of pens that come out the top of it. I was going to put a succulent in there, because you could totally use it as a flower pot. It's got a little hole even, but uh, man, it is fun to have just this whole group of jelly rolls just sprouting from his head like flowers. And so this sits over here. I've also got this nice flower pot. Um, there were a set of these, and I can't find the other two that my aunt got me a little while ago. I think it's just this, this just came from Amazon, but it makes a really good pen holder. Uh, make sure that you do keep the little hole in the bottom, or the, uh, this plug in the bottom. Otherwise, a pen might fall off the bottom. But you can mount this on the wall if you want. So, you know, be creative. Get something to, to put your pens in and hold them sort of out of the way. And then lastly, this one was made by my friend Julia Scott of Semi-Cool Ceramics. You should check out her work. She has, uh, she's great, firstly. And secondly, she makes really great ceramics and pottery and uh, does beautiful glazes like this one. I got this one at the Atlanta Pen Show a few years ago, and, uh, and I love it. It's made so that you can put a pen across the front and then have a bunch of others in the back, and it is pretty great. So, all right, pen holders, pen cups, Really something that everybody who uses pens kind of needs. Um, now, sometimes you need to hold things that aren't pens, and that is where these come in. This is the Inca Pet. There are actually several of these. There is a dog, there's a cat, there's this fun octopus. I have all three. I think there's a couple more that they've been working on. These are made by a friend's son, and every time I get one of these, there's a little note included that says, uh, thanks from, from his son. And you can find these at the link uh, below, Inca Pet. And what these are for is they are for holding... Uh, for holding sample vials, so that when you're filling up your pen from a sample vial, you don't have to worry about it falling over, because this is pretty easy to tip over, just sort of accidentally, it'll fall. But uh, throw it in an octopus, try, try as you might, won't, won't fall down. Also, they've started making, whoop, you can throw it on the ground though. Uh, they've also started making things like little Halloween costumes, so for a while there, my, my octopus was a spooky pumpkin, and also my cat is a ghost. So that's, uh, you know, fun stuff like that. Check that out and, uh, you know, help that kid's college fund. You know, he's a, he's a grown boy and needs, needs money for college. So, uh, you know, check that out. But I think this is great. I love these kinds of things. All right. Third up are glass dip pens. Uh, dip pens have been really seeing a resurgence, I think, in the fountain pen community because they are so darn useful for using things like, I mean, heck, like this vial right here. You can just use this little sample with a dip pen if you want. You can make your swatches. You could write a quick note if you don't want to ink up a whole pen. You can use inks that are not particularly friendly for fountain pens, like uh, perhaps this uh, this Iron Gall ink here from uh, Scribal Workshop. Uh, you can use uh, pretty much anything with a dip pen. And a good dip pen can run a little bit of cash. These two, I think, are the only things... These are the only things in this list that I didn't buy. These were sent out for review and use and such by Shigur Inks. So go check them out here. This is the Matsubakuri Red Pomegranate. Of course, links in the description. Uh, and this is an excellent dip pen. This is my favorite of the two. It has a fine point. It is a really good writer. It's very smooth on the page. These ridges hold a lot of ink. This little square bit right here keeps it from rolling away when you set it on your desk. It's fantastic. This one right here is a Kemi's Labo. 
uh, glass dip pen. This is the medium size. You can get different tip sizes in all of these glass pens that are a little bit on the fancy side. Uh, and this one is extremely wet and very broad. And so this is one that I use more sparingly, perhaps, than the uh, the Kemi's lap, or rather than the Matsu Bakuri, because I don't always want to write with a super broad point, but sometimes you really want to make big letters and such, and this will really handle that for you. So, uh, you know, you get your you get your variation there. So, glass dip pens, check those out. Get a good one, uh, because a bad one will just make you sad. Now, why can't this go in, the, go in the little ridge there? There we go, perfectly. I also made this little cup. Uh, well, I didn't make the cup. I bought the cup. It was like a dollar for three of them or something at Target. And I threw some, uh, some, some loose change in the bottom to give it some weight so it doesn't fall over. Put some paper towels in there, sort of crink crinkly style, so that uh, they will hold up these glass dip pens and also... Uh, you know, suck the water out of the little ridges as I'm, when I'm done writing. So, there you go. All right, glass dip pens accomplished. Next up, uh, more of an accessory sort of thing. This is called a Hero Clip, and I discovered these this year. This, this is a very cool thing that actually I get asked about every time I use it in public or um, around somebody who hasn't seen it before, honestly. Uh, the Hero Clips go on my backpacks. I usually put them on the top or carry straps of them. It is a carabiner which is cool because you can hook things to other things, always super useful, but this carabiner has a little bit of a secret, and that is that you can go like this, this spins around. This is the uh, the small one, I think this holds like 50 pounds or something like that, it's extremely sturdy, much better crafted than I even expected. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but uh, even the mini version of this holds like 40 pounds, the the medium is like 60 pounds or something, and if you're putting 60 pounds on here, that's, that's plenty. And what you can do is you can hook this on all kinds of things. It has this little like slightly rubbery tip here, which will hold onto the edge of tables or what have you. So I'll hook my backpack on it, and then I will just put this on the edge of a table, and it will hang there. So you don't have to put your bag on the ground. This could be great for purses, or when we start going back to restaurants and things like that, if you have a purse, you want to hang it from the table or from the back of a chair, because uh, you don't want to put your stuff on the ground, because that's where feet go, and that's gross. So uh, get yourself a hero clip. These are really cool, and uh, I think definitely worth knowing about for everybody. Plus, they look rad, so check that out. All right. Hero clip. Uh, now, here's the thing that uh, I was I almost didn't put on the list because it's kind of like it's kind of particular to me, but I really like the pop socket. I think these are good products. It was actually invented by a philosopher, which it, I don't know him, but uh, hey, good job, philosophy. Uh, and I don't like putting stuff on the back of my phone because they like they usually want to stick there. Uh, but these with the MagSafe cases and stuff, they made a MagSafe pop socket. And it sticks on there extremely securely. Like that's, uh, you can take it off, but it's very, very solid. So check those out. They are not the, I mean, they're probably, I don't know. I think I got this for like 15 bucks. It was like on sale on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't, it's not the most attractive thing perhaps, but with my, uh, my, my Pro Max phone, it is really nice to be able to hold it like this and just kind of, you know, use it one fingered. So um, pretty, pretty good MagSafe pop socket. Not stationary, but uh, I use this for filming a lot of stuff, especially at shows and things, and I think this might come in handy, but uh, yeah, great stuff. All right, there's that. All right, uh, a couple of other things. One is, get yourself some good coffee. Uh, find yourself a roaster that you like. If they're uh, local, that's great. Uh, this one is local to us-ish. This is Black and White Roasters. Do they have the full name of the roaster on here anywhere? There we go blackandwhiteroasters.com, or sorry, blackwhiteroasters.com, link in the description, of course. And they are a minority-owned business out in Wake Forest, and it was close to where Franklin Kristoff's uh, building was, and so Audrey would stop in and say, hey, uh, you know, give me some coffee. <laughs> and so they have lots of different kinds of coffees. They roast like four days a week. They ship quickly and free over a certain amount. It's not the cheapest coffee in the world, but if you compare this to something like getting yourself uh, you know, uh, Starbucks or something, it is uh, much less expensive than that. So treat yourself, get yourself some good coffee uh, that has all kinds of interesting, this Red Jolly Rancher, Whiny, Panella, or pa I don't actually even know what that is, and Milk Chocolate. I'm looking forward to this quite a lot. Uh, it is a honey process. It's going to be delicious. And uh, it was roasted uh, last month. So I was out of town for a little while, so I'm a little bit, bit behind. But you can get it like the same week it was roasted. It's pretty amazing. Get yourself some, some good coffee. That's a, that's a little PSA. Treat yourself. Uh, now, 
Uh, last thing, well, sorry, second to last thing is uh, get yourself like a get yourself a good pocket knife. I I have a bunch of pocket knives, as folks know, and this one is one that almost made me stop buying pocket knives because it is so darn good. This is the Spyderco Spidey Chef. It is made out of steel that cannot corrode. You can th- I've probably throw it in the dishwasher if you wanted to although I don't I will use it and then just like wash it off with soap and water and dry it off and it's totally fine uh it has a great feel in the hand it is small in the pocket you can just like you know not scare people but open your mail or slice up an apple or whatever you know get yourself something that's going to make you happy and uh be very useful at the same time if you're an area if you're in an area where that sort of thing is cool it's cool here in North Carolina I know if I go to other places I can't carry a pocket knife but like you know if you can it's uh, it's really great to have around the house even all right now last thing is bags y'all know I like bags I'm going to zoom out here a bit and show you like three or four of my favorite things from this year uh this goes in a bag this is something I got very recently uh, because it came back in stock and was on sale, and I was like, I gotta try this. This is the Tom Ben Snake Charmer, and what it is meant for is, well, actually, this is the Snake, snake Charmer Mini, or Small, or I threw away the tag, and I don't actually remember, but it's one of those, the smaller version, and what this is meant for is to carry all of your cords and stuff. So, it is extremely brightly colored, that means when you throw it into most bags, you're not going to lose it, because you can, like, just pull it right out. Look, there's all my, there's all my cords. It is essentially two compartments that are fairly large. You know, you can put a lot of cord in each one of these. I carried this recently on a trip, uh, and you can throw your Mac chargers in there with like all the power cords. You can throw your your wall warts in there, those things you plug into the wall to put your power cords into. Uh, I threw the power cord and cable for my switch in here. I threw the chargers and stuff for my camera in here. And I could look through the side and see which things were in which side. There was no fumbling around. It was great. There are little O-rings and D-rings on this thing, so you can clip it to things and clip things in it so that they don't fall out. It is just a really great piece of kit and uh, something I, I encourage you to check out. Also, it would work for like a small toiletry kit or something like that if you're a person that needs that kind of thing. But uh, very durable, gonna last a very long time. I love this thing. All right. Um, going up in size, we have here the uh, Track Largo. I recently got this and I haven't really had a chance to carry it much. But I know this is going to be one of my favorite things, although it is collecting a little bit of nose hair on the strap. Uh, it has a very cool Cobra buckle over here. Look how, look how fun that is. And then the bag itself is contoured to fit around your body instead of just being straight uh, and like kind of clunky. This one really just kind of like, just kind of, it's got this shape that just sort of, sort of fits, fits a person's body. It feels real nice to carry it. And it has enough space in here for my iPad and notebooks and papers and like whatever else you want to throw in there. It's got another little pocket here. It's got AquaGuard zippers. It's made of waxed canvas. It's made in Scotland. And it was shipped wicked fast. So I, uh, I love this thing. I think this is going to be my favorite sling. It's, uh, it's great. So check them out at Track. They make really good stuff. Then, back to Tom Ben, I got this Cynic this year. I love the Cynic backpack. It is a great backpack for everyday carry if you're going to work or school or whatever. Uh, it will store all the stuff that you could possibly need for that. And it is also a great travel bag. I've given one of these to Audrey for, for a couple of trips. Uh, we took it on our last trip out to LA. Uh, it packs down fairly small when you don't have a whole bunch of stuff in it, but it is a 30 liter bag, so it can really hold uh, a few days worth of clothes. It has a laptop storage po uh, pocket back here. It's, uh, it's, it's a great bag. It's a bit on the pricey side, but I mean... It's, it's great in pretty much every way. I, I love this thing. It's, it's awesome. And lastly, this is a bag that I was very lucky to capture. This is the Evergoods and Karyology Phoenix. It has this little Phoenix uh, patch down here which is Velcroed on. Uh, this was a collaboration. You can't really buy this one, but this is the uh, the Civic Panel Loader from Evergoods, which I think is a great bag. It is going to be one that I, I see myself carrying for a long time. I just took this on a trip. It was a fantastic travel bag, as well as having a lot of EDC capability. It is meant to be able to be slung over a shoulder so you can access all this stuff 
from your shoulder. Everything is in here sideways. This interior is impossibly bright. Uh, the camera isn't even really capturing how bright it is, although it is trying mightily. It has these big chunky AquaGuard zippers. It is, uh, oh, this, this is where my travel pillow went. Uh, holds that very well, as well as all the other things. This is just a great bag, and uh, and it makes me happy. So, um, you know, get yourself a good bag that is going to do all the things you need, because uh, most people don't need more than, like, one or two bags. But uh, if you have the right one, it can make your life a lot easier and more comfortable and more enjoyable to take things uh, to places when we start going to places. So, uh, there you go. That's the, that's the last one. All right. So that's been a few of my favorite things for this year. Oh, I guess I I really like this this little whale as well. It's, this definitely counts as an accessory, right? Whale. It's like a little whale dish, and I often keep a pen in it. Just kind of over here, sitting sitting right there, just a, just a pen in a whale, so it doesn't like roll away, and I know where it is. And sometimes, actually, what I've been doing with this is I'll decide that I'm going to use a pen on this particular day, and it'll be like. That'll be the pin that's in the whale, and when I want to write something, I grab the pin that's in the whale, and that keeps me from getting unfocused and just like grabbing whatever off my shelf here. I'm like, nope, today I'm using this pin, or today I'm using this pin, or whatever. And uh, I think that's, that's kind of become a little system of mine that I've been enjoying. And I got this from, uh, from Yoseka. You can find these in a lot of different uh, shapes and such like that, but really fun. Okay. That's, that's, that's it. We're going to, we're going to call it there. I think that's enough accessories and other uh, random things. So uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Welcome to 2022. I hope that this year is better than the last. I hope it is better than, uh, than, than we've, we've seen in a while. So uh, I will see, I look forward to to doing all the cool stuff we do on this channel in 2022. If you haven't subscribed and you're still here, what are you doing? Subscribe. It's free. Hit that hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment in the down below. Tell me what your favorite accessories have been this year. Like what things make your life better? What should I know about in order to make my life better? Because that's what we're trying to do here is we're trying to have we're trying to we're trying to do well. We're trying to have, do good stuff and have good stuff that makes us happy and makes our lives better and uh, and more fun. So um, I will uh, I will see y'all later on. Peace out.